The Bank of Montreal is putting a scare into anyone either heavily invested in real estate or heavily in debt. Turns out the bank says those super low interest rates are about to disappear. And Deb has more in NewsHour Insight tonight. Deb. Yes, Chris, and that's why the bank is issuing this warning. Canadians are carrying more personal debt than ever before, and cheap mortgages are just adding to the problem. Plus, the economies of both Canada and the United States are well into recovery, and that is putting upward pressure on interest rates. And the financial markets are already betting that the Bank of Canada will begin raising its trend-setting rate by year's end. It's all adding up to a financial landscape that is about to shift. It was only a couple of years ago they couldn't sell those condos in the Olympic Village. And Vancouver taxpayers were on the hook for about $100 million in losses. But now look, it appears as if they're building a second Olympic Village right next to the original one. But for those thinking of buying now, the warnings are out. What you pay today may be considerably more than what your unit's worth when you finally take possession. I think Vancouver and Toronto will probably lead on the way down, and it wouldn't surprise me to see a 10 to 15 percent correction in this market. The condo market generally, though there is the exception of condos that will sell out quickly, but the condo market is overbuilt in Vancouver, overbuilt in Toronto, and again you have the financial institutions saying maybe we better take a better look at the developers who are putting these schemes in front of us because this market is heavy right now. The problem is we keep piling on household debt. A new report out today from Stats Canada singles out B.C. and Alberta as the two provinces with the highest average household debt. And in B.C. at least, much of that debt is secured by equity in our homes. But what happens when property values drop and mortgage rates go up, which is now widely predicted to happen? You know, what a lot of consumers aren't aware of is the impact and how quickly their circumstances can go from being able to manage their affairs effectively to being in extreme financial difficulty in a short period of time because of interest rate hikes. But Canadian banks have only themselves to blame for ramping up household debt that in some cases may never get repaid. Every one of them offers home equity loans encouraging you to use your home as collateral for yet another line of credit. Yes, they do that because they need the share of the market. But the banks right now across the board are pulling for tighter rules, tighter regulations that are regulated throughout the industry so it just doesn't hurt one bank if they try it. Bond rates are going up and that drives fixed mortgage rates. The good news is that you can still lock into a five-year mortgage at about 3%. And the consensus out there is do it. And we have had the low interest rates for quite some time now. We're going to have to wait and see what happens over the next couple of years. And Chris, that's tonight's insight. All right. Thanks very much, Deb.